Hey everyone. Um, so today um, it's going to be this Urban Decay Book of Shadows um, look. And I'm going to start off with Soft Ochre Paint Pot and apply that all over my lids, all the way up to my brow bone. I feel like I have been neglecting this palette for a long time due to the fact that it is in a really bulky and uncomfortable palette. Like, you know, it's just not something easy, not something that's just at hand. But I love the shades. Like, if I could just figure out how to depot these shadows, I would be using them so, so much more. Because they are really, really pretty, actually. And there are a lot of Urban Decay shadows that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. And there's so many shadows in that, in the Book of Shadows. So then I take um, Natural by Jane Cosmetics. And as usual, I use it as a transition shade. I have kind of been putting it on my um, eyelid as well, just in case of creasing. And then I take Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. And I put that all over my lids from inner corner to outer corner. And then with a big fluffy brush, I am going in with Baked by Urban Decay and putting that all over my lid and in the outer corner. And taking Bust and, yeah, Bust and Toast and putting that in my crease. These are shimmery shades. They have sheen to them. They're not matte. And I'm usually not a fan of putting shimmery colors in my crease, but for some reason, it just worked. This um, combination just kind of worked out for the better, I guess. Um, I'm then going in with Cobra and putting Cobra on my outer V. I'm just being so messy with it, honestly. I just needed something really dense to put the color down and then I'm going to blend it out as per usual and then I'm going back in with more of um, what is it called baked by Urban Decay and I'm putting that on my lid and blending it into the black so it's not such a harsh like um, transition between the two I look really funny that's why I was going in the camera um, and then I'm going to go in with line stiletto by um, Maybelline. But before I did that, I just put a little bit of Vanilla by MAC on my on my um, brow bone. Sorry, I have the hiccups. So after I applied Line Stiletto by Maybelline, I set it with a black, um, black eyeshadow, but I mean, I do that all the time. I believe I set it with Carbon by MAC. And then I put the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Primer all over my face. Why is my face so red is the question. Not quite sure. But I really wanted to blend it out a lot underneath my eyes. For some reason, my eyes have been so wrinkly underneath like I don't know why I don't know if anyone can tell me why like I am it looks like I'm an old, old granny under my eyes I'm really wrinkly but I just put that all over my face and um it was not shown here but my very first step before any makeup I did put some of the um, moisturizer on and I've already put my mascara on and that was the um, that was the, what is it called, Telescopic by L'Oreal and the, their real mascara by, um, by Benefit. Um, but my camera died, so you couldn't see me putting my mascara on, but it was kind of boring anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then this is the foundation that I made. So I just am putting it on with a toothpick because I like to mix it around with a toothpick before I put it on and then I just put it on, uh, rub it on with a toothpick. Honestly, the foundation that I made is my favorite foundation ever. Like, if you guys want a tutorial on what foundations I mixed and how I mixed and the proportions that I mixed in to get this foundation, 
I will definitely make a video on it because it is so amazing. Like, I don't know why I mixed them, honestly. Probably I was running out of foundations and just wanted to put them in together. But it's awesome for oily skin, and it keeps me matte through the whole day, and it's just awesome. Um, as far as underneath my eyes, I'm taking some of the Select Cover-Up by MAC. And I'm just putting that in a um, upside-down triangle underneath my eyes. This won't be the only concealer I apply, but it's going to be the first step because it is the most liquefied, and I prefer to put the lightest one underneath so that that's the one touching my skin, and then I will add on whatever other highlighters I would like. This one really does do a good job of concealing those under eye circles. Don't get that mixed up with what highlighting does because I take the... Maybelline Age Rewind in Brighten to highlight, but it does add coverage, but that is meant for brightening. So this concealer is meant to conceal those under eye circles, not so much do the highlighting aspect of that. I then set my whole under eye um, with the Laura Mercier um, Laura Mercier setting powder, but then I took a little bit of banana powder and put that underneath my eyes as well. I'm going to go in with the um, blue color in the... Um, palette. I cannot quite remember what it is, but I right over it, I did actually use the Victoria's Secret blue eyeshadow in um, Scenery, and I put that underneath my eyes as well. And for a contour, I use the Anastasia Contour Kit. I use the shade Java. Um, honestly, it is an awesome contour kit. I haven't found, like, powders that actually blend in my skin tone and blend into my face makeup the way this contour kit does. And Anastasia was very kind. I messaged them. I told them that they sent me a broken one. And um, a lady emailed me back and asked me for photos of the damaged product. And um, I offered to send it back to them. And they told me I didn't need to send it back but um, because not all of them were broken. And that they apologized for sending me a broken kit. The customer service was amazing. Like, obviously, it's understandable to want a photo and everything. So, I did send that to them. Um, I did try to put them back together with rubbing alcohol, but it did not work. So, I did toss one of the pans. Maybe I can just buy a pan um, for the contour kit. So, now I kind of have two, but one of them is pretty damaged. So I'm just letting it sit until I figure out what to do with it. I might just toss the whole kit. As far as blush goes, I'm using Full of Joy by MAC. And it's just like a purpley pink um, MAC blush. It's like a satin finish. It's really pretty. Um, I get a lot of compliments oh, so, when so I wear sorry it. I'm so that my camera keeps dying and it's about to die again right now. I cannot find the other battery, so I'm going to have to plug it in, so I'm going to talk really fast. This is the finished look. There's um, blue, green, and coppers. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and there's new videos every... Monday and Thursday every other Saturday and there's going to be a new video on Tuesday so stay tuned for that one and see if you like the idea. Bye!